Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 14th of 2024 is titled Meteors and Aurora over Germany. So what do we see here? Well, here just a couple of nights ago, we had two things occur at the same time in the sky. One was the Perseid meteor shower that we've been looking at. And here we see a number of different meteors from that Perseid shower. And the Perseid shower occurs when the debris left behind by comet Swift Tuttle and the Earth goes through the orbit of that comet. Now the comet's nowhere near us. It's heading out to the outer solar system and well out there. But it, the debris is still left behind and continues to orbit around the sun just as the comet does. So when Earth goes through the orbit of the comet, we pick up some of that debris. It strikes Earth's atmosphere at high speeds and those particles vaporize in the atmosphere. Small particles might give us a tiny little faint streak and we can see several of those here. A little bit larger particle can give a little bit more of a burst there and we see one of those large ones just up and above to the left of the tree there. Now that's not a giant particle by any sense but it, it's a little bit bigger than the tiny specks of dust that form most of the particle most of the particles that we see. Now the second thing that we saw at the same time was the aurora. Now the aurora are caused by charged particles from the sun and those particles travel to earth when there's an outbreak such as a solar flare or a coronal mass ejection particles can be thrown in the direction of earth. When they do that they funnel along the earth's magnetic field lines. You see charged particles don't like to cross magnetic field lines. So instead of going across the field line they will follow around it to where it comes into the earth's surface and that would be near the north and south magnetic poles. So the farther north or south you are the more likely you are to see the aurora. However when there's an unusually big storm such as this you can see them even farther south. So here we get to see it in Germany where we see this purplish glow due to the aurora from particles that had come off of the sun several days before. Now, why several days? Well, the light from the sun takes about eight and a half minutes to get to Earth. The actual particles don't travel as fast as light, so they take a little bit longer time and they may take several days to get to Earth. So we can sometimes see the explosion on the sun, know that the particles are coming, so we're prepared for when the aurora will be visible. And in this case, the explosion on the sun occurred several days before the Perseids were going to hit and they timed just right so that we were able to get images like this which show both the aurora and some of the Perseid meteors in the same shot. So that was our picture of the day for August 14th of 2024. It was titled Meteors and Aurora over Germany. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.